the Chris Top Program, listened to by at least three people worldwide. And I am the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from my lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you doing, world? You know, I don't use this show too often as an opportunity to bitch, but that's exactly what I'm going to do today. You've probably already seen this video about this little boy. His name's Quayden. Uh, He has dwarfism, and evidently he's been getting bullied at school, so his mother posted this heart-wrenching video. So we've got this nine-year-old kid, and the only thing he wants to do now is kill himself. Most nine-year-olds should want to go to school and make friends and play and have fun, but he wants to kill himself because people at school are bullying him. Give me right now. Uh, you me. Even you think you're a little looking at you. You don't even do anything. <laughs> Everything's good. Go me the dumbest kid in the class. What do you want to do right now? And this, of course, broke my heart as soon as I saw it. I, I got emotional when, when I saw this little nine-year-old kid crying his eyes out, wanting to kill himself. I went ahead and posted a a link to the video on the Chris Top Program Facebook page because I wanted to make other people aware of it. Almost immediately, people started leaving posts saying that this was a scam. I have to say, unlike 99.9% of other Facebook users, I like to do research before I just start posting random things. So I looked into it and I did see a few posts that were obviously wrong about how the kid was really 18 instead of 9. I think some random douchebag on Twitter actually started the rumor, and it kind of went from there. The biggest proof they had was a picture of him in front of a, of a sign that said that had the number 18 on it. He was an eight, oh, I'm getting so frustrated. He was at an 18-year-old's birthday party, and there was a picture of him in front of that. It doesn't make him 18. He's standing in front of the number 18. I can stand in front of the number 2 all day long, but I'm still 48 years old. Okay, okay, okay. Here's another clip with Quayden when he was 4 years old. This was from an interview him and his mother did on a newscast back in 2014. He was obviously four years old in the video. I'm not going to play very much of it. Um, but if you do the math, 2015, he was four years old. That would make him nine today. Quayden Bales <laughs> is four years old, and this little boy from Brisbane is a powerhouse. He's inspiring an amazing campaign to raise awareness about dwarfism. He's already been through several bouts of surgery with plenty of support from celebrities like this famous singer. Hey, Quady, it's Guy Sebastian here. Just wanted to say good luck for your surgery today. I hope it all goes well. Peace out. Oh. Oh. Quaden Bales and his mum, Yuraka, join us now from Brisbane. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Yeah. Okay. Now, Quaden has a form of dwarfism. How does that affect his body exactly? Yeah, so Quaden was born with achondroplasia. It's the most common form of dwarfism. Um... Obviously, it's a bone dysplasia, so it's a stunted growth condition which affects majorly these four bones that don't grow at the same rate as the other bones in his body. So the average height of someone with dwarfism is around four foot, but it varies. Make sure you look up this video and watch it. Quayden is obviously, obviously four years old in the video that was taken five years ago. That would make him nine today. If he is really an 18-year-old scam artist that's just trying to rob the internet, then he deserves an Oscar because he is brilliant. What really kills me the most, though, is the fact that he was bullied at school. Now he's getting bullied on the internet. Is it just human nature that we're, we're evil sometimes? Or some people all of the time? And do people just believe whatever they hear? It's like they see the video, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for the kid. Oh, wait a minute, he's 18, he's a scam artist? Oh, he sucks. He doesn't deserve any money. Put him in prison. It's pretty pathetic that that we are so prone just to jump on everything and believe everything that we see and everything that we hear, and we don't even do research half of the time. There are even local news shows reporting on the fact that this was a scam. Is common sense just a lost art? 
Or maybe we're just so quick to join the crowd and bully other people immediately after we condemn it. Anyway, make sure you look twice before you cross the internet. You'll get hit. Some of you should. The Chris Top Program, listened to by at least three people worldwide.